Nice. Thank you, but this is amazing. Yeah, no problem. It's super good. I well, thought I was gonna have a couple bites, yes, and I'm just indeed. Yes. The opening is so good. It is called Lothric. Welcome to Lothric, buddy. Where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. I'm one of those. The chanting is a wee bit loud. Inventory. Oh, north. the title screen. I had it all the way up. Oh. I'll turn it down after the intro. Pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades. And the lords go without thrones. Just the creature design so cool. But it's like chained on her back. When the link of fire is threatened, the bell tolls. An agreement for all Bioshock is the perfect example of using a dystopian sci fi setting as a mood builder as opposed to a plot propeller. I agree. Aldrich, Saint of Introducing you to some. Folks, you might be meeting along the way. So this is oh no! They get to the game. Oh my god, guys! I'm so that's so lame. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Farron's undead legion, the abyss watches. Sorry about that, guys. And the reclusive lord of the profaned capital. Yep. Are the people? Yom the giant. The giant. He's got an interesting. God, look at the particle the physics. Will rise. The lighting. Yeah, it's all about that flame. Nameless, accursed, undead. Unfit even to be cinder. And so it is. That ash. Gobskin said that the blank screen is now no longer. Okay. Oh. Bong water, right? Bong water. You can type it. Make me bong water. Oh, what? You can't be a woman? Interesting. I was a woman for what? <laughs> I'll do one. I'm kidding. No, don't. I am aged woman. I'd rather look at a woman for 56 hours. Well, you're not going to be looking at anything. It's a funny thing with all these character creators. Thank you so much for bong water. No problem, Unicorns for all. Jared hates women confirms. It is confirmed. <laughs> oh, she's a man, baby. Angry Woo. German. 12 months in a row. It's our year anniversary. This lasts longer than most of my relationships. A year together with Angry German. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're starting to get the year years in now on the sub. It's just it's been just happening wow. just like this past month or so that I started getting subs. So thank you, everybody who's celebrating a, a year's subscription with me amazing all right we're done all right she's fine uh 
classed as knight, right? Mm-hmm. Dude, I eat something like this, and I just can't believe that some people eat it like fucking McDonald's like yeah, half the week. This was eight bucks. That was eight dollars. was cheaper probably now. That was half of the meal. Like remember, I already had a full lunch. Yeah, it. yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. That <laughs> they was... put it in front of me. That's why I got the falafel on the side. I was like, oh, I kind of want like a little snacky thing too. And then they put the platter in front of me. It's like a bowl the yeah. size of like it's insane. The Lord. And it had falafel in the bowl too, which they didn't say. Plus, adding six falafels is the side order. Holy shit! It's just crazy. It's so tasty. It's so good. It's better for you, technically. Probably not that much better for you, but it's better for you. Uh, so much better to be fed. I was gonna have some dinky microwavable. Oh wow, this is weird. The camera is a little too quick, and I don't know how to fix it. Camera's too quick. This is so weird, though. What? Just, just the look? I mean, it's gorgeous, but yeah, it's such a like upgrade. Yes. Very much so. I didn't need. Excuse me. I didn't have a problem with Dark Souls. No, but it's just. I mean, several years of game development happened yeah. in between Dark Souls and Dark Souls Three. Come on, Bong Water. <laughs> I think those messages on the ground are telling you like tutorial shit, but it's all the stuff you know pretty much. This is hard because I'm a camera happy guy. I yeah, I had a hard time. So go into s the settings and go to, I had it all the way down at one. Go to zero. Can you go down even more? Does anybody know how to make the camera less insane? That's preposterous. Yeah, it's like a way too fast camera. I wonder if it's just the PS4. You know what I mean? Although now I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah. Does it make a difference? I don't even know if it makes a difference. That's, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's the, totally the same. So that's not making a difference. I, I wonder if I need to... Oh, and you're going to be at the Friday Night Hidden Fences next week in LA? Yes, Hidden Fences next week. Come see it. I'm performing in an awesome play in LA. If you're out in LA, in the LA area, get your ticket for Hidden Fences. I know how to make the streamer more insane. I wonder if it's set. Oh, maybe that's it. Did that do it? Seems a little better. That's better. That might have been it. Yeah, let's try that. It's still too fast, but that is. But that, that is that slightly is better. better. Yeah. All right, cool. I got my ticket already to see you there. Hell yeah, dude. Let's fucking hang. Please, please, please introduce yourself to me after the show or whatever. Or before. All right. So, in this one, you have the Estes Flash and the Ash and Estes Flash. Uh -huh. The Ash and Estes Flash. See that blue bar up top there? Yep. That is your magic up top there. Um, turn camera speed down now, too. Camera speed's all the way down. Is it all the way down still? Didn't you turn it up as a joke? Yeah, but then I'll put it back. Oh, okay. Please confirm Terry's actually a gnome. Will do. There was like an article written about how this opening area is a great, just like kind of pitch perfect, like wordless tutorial on how to play the game. Like every little thing here is kind of here to like use your shield, do this, do that. I am playing through Steam, Angry German. Um, so does that mean I need to turn something down in the Steam control properties? Is there a way to watch the last stream in the left? Yes, they, they post it. First, the first boss is a wordless fuck you. <laughs> This is Holden Talks for 30 minutes, except it's four hours, exactly. <laughs> exactly, Holden Talks for fucking four fucking hours. There you go. Yeah, Adult Swim archives them, so check it out. That was a hilarious time with Marcus and, and, and kind of Jackie. All right, got to the rest emote. 
There you go. That's your first uh, bonfire there. Copied from forms. Edit. I fixed it. In Steam, go to settings, controller, general controller settings. Then I unchecked all the boxes, which requires you to restart Steam. Controller is back to normal now. Okay, things I never thought I'd say. It's too fucking hot in Norway right now. Really? So it's something I could fix, but it looks like it's going to be too much of a pain in the ass to fix it right now. You think it'll be all right for now? Yeah, we're fine. I just remember I get out of work at four instead of five on Fridays during the nice. summer. Nice. Summer Friday. You have to like jump to that. I think jump's different. I think you have to run. Uh, I think you click down on elf uh, on the left uh, analog to do that. Nice. Nice drop down. That's definitely teaching you, you know, the drop down mechanic. I think if you read the messages too, it tells you yeah. stuff. I like to do that. <clears throat> All right, let's go. You can fall off the side there behind you, yeah. Let's go. You got him targeted, which is good. So the cool thing with magic in this game, with, or with that meter, all swords have a sword art that uses that meter as well. So even if you're not a mage, you can use that meter with your sword, depending on what you have. Um, different sword arts do different things. They do like special moves. The the weapon I used a lot for this game, the butcher knife or whatever, um, it sharpens it so that you get like health essentially from the attack um, when you use it. Like that's a sword art. You're gonna want to heal soon. The drinking is pretty quick in this one. Heal now. Way better. Yeah, it's super fast. Oh, good. Thank God. Yeah, he's got a lot of range. I say get up in him, dude, and circle to his right, and just, like, don't let him kind of do that stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, get him. Yeah, now you have a swift, fast sword, so you can get, get more hits in, you know? Oh! All right. This is phase two. Now, you're going to notice in this game that you don't have as much in Dark Souls. There, there are usually like two, at least two phases to a fight, and they'll kind of change form or something will happen different. They'll change, you know, they'll add moves. Oh, you, what is that? Just missed. Heal up. All right, one Estus left. Uh, let's get some hits in this guy. Fuck this guy, it's not hard. Stamina up. Nice. Heal up. Alright, no S, just kill him. Get him. One more hit. Oh! Woo! First try. Bye, buddy. I mean, you're pretty fucking warmed up. He's not hard. It's cool. I'll just be over here crying silently. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the coiled sword. And there you go. Sorry, Memo. Just go knight. Just go knight. It's not your fault. You picked the wrong build, and it's shitty that they do that. Go knight, and you should be fine. And just do that circling that Jared was doing just now. Just circle around him. Don't be intimidated, and just oh, make it happen. Jesus. Man, baby, seen your dead, dead eye two months. Thank you so fucking much, man. You guys, honestly, the subs have been going up. It's been amazing, and I have you guys to thank for it. I, I, I am like, I feel like I started the year. <laughs> good job, Jared, I guess. I started the year kind of, um, I mean, I'm still kind of not like amazing financially, but I'm definitely like moving into a more comfortable scenario because of your subs, because of the Patreon mm -hmm. improving month to month. And it's just really, really making me like less stressed out, 
just more excited to continue to put this content out and not freaking out thinking I need to get some extra side gig, which would take me away from doing this. Subscriber icons win. We have the emotes. I don't know. What are these icons? I'll look into it. Don't be afraid to cheese the bosses if you can. The game will fuck you over any chance it gets. Give it what for exactly. Oh, from the Matt 2D again, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Great, a broken straight sword. Really useful. Oh, you actually also skipped a little guy that we could go back and do. A little challenge in the opening area. Do you want to go do it? Yeah, let's do it. Or actually, wait, we should level up first and shit, now that I think about it. Can you, I don't think you can, can you level up at that bonfire? I didn't see the option to, but I also might not know how to look at the thing. No, I think you need to go. Oh, no, you don't level up at bonfires. Man, baby, free Amazon monies. Oh, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub two months in a row. That's amazing. Yeah, okay, let's actually not do that just yet, because you have 3,000 souls to level up with. Mm -hmm. So... Let's pop through this area and get to where you can um, level up. Cool. And then we can go back and do that. So yeah, you don't level at the, I forget. You don't level at the uh, bonfire. Bonfires. There's a lady you talk to at Firelink. Gotcha. Which is coming up, uh, spoiler alert, Firelink's yeah, coming up. Is it the same Firelink? No. Good. This, this game is also, by the way, more of a love letter to the game previous games in the series. Right. than any any other one. This game has a lot of nods too. So therefore having like Firelink Shrine, like that that didn't happen until Dark Souls 3. Like there hasn't been a Firelink since the first Dark Souls. Gotcha. Stuff like that. So talk to the lady. Welcome to the bonfire. And then yeah, I mean I would say just do some explore like look around here, look around I this opening fun. area a little bit. Mm -hmm. And there's items and stuff you, you walked I past, things like that place. that I would maybe just go check I out, talk to everybody to in the Firelink Shrine. Get acquainted. The lords have left their thrones. And yes, this is essentially and what you need to go do. The lords have all left the thrones, the thrones that are surrounding the shrine right here. And you need to go get their souls and bring them back. Very well. Then touch the dark. Is it true Twitch Prime doesn't pay creators as much as a paid Take sub? From these um I don't know, is that true? I don't know. I could go try to be up a, a, a prime again. But I don't, uh, I don't know. So yeah, you might want to level up dexterity. You might want to, you know, you might want to look into doing that. You can go pure strength. It kind of depends. Like I have a sword that's like pure strength that I can show you. Mm -hmm. That's not super deep into the game. That is like a monster. It's yeah. like a strength weapon that is fat, like as fast as a dex build style like swing. Okay. It's awesome. I could show you that. You could spec for strength. You could spec for strength and dex if you want. You know, endurance and vigor are, are generally going to be what you're going to do. Is my endurance is yeah. the green. Yeah, my endurance is your stamina. Is uh, oh, that's right. I free. Uh, help is the options. Nope, it's, uh, help. Vitality is help. No, no. Help is the help. Help. Human help. I know, and I'm saying help is this, so you can. Oh, you were answering the question. Yes. Gotcha. I was finding the help button. So that is, uh, attunement is your slots for your spells. That governs stamina. Should be governing physical defense. So it's not that. Yeah, it moves your defense up. Um, intelligence is for magic, sorceries, and vigor is HP. Gotcha. Gotcha, yeah. Literally the only difference is it doesn't automatically renew every month. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, the Twitch Prime sub, yeah. Um, uh, now I know what you're saying. I was getting confused. Uh, do full strength, says Angry German. Did you do dex? Yes, I did dex, strength, and help. Okay. Luck build, you can do a luck build. Where you just put points into luck and it like helps you get better items and stuff. And there's other things that go along with it that I don't even know. All right, we're just gonna hang out. We're gonna Another chill. One. You you, you beat the first big just test. We're gonna just walk around a little bit. When, when you're ready, alone, we can move forward. We unkindled our connection, and they'd have us seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we are talking true legends with the metal to live. Don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, unicorn scroll. It's 
Sims 4 is my heroine. King Lothric. We'll learn more about Lothric and his brood. He has a brood. Bit of a brood. Also, uh, you're going to be looking for bone dust, dust. Oh, did my buddy Jared one shot Gundir? Hey, Cologne. Yes, he did one shot Gundir. What's happening, Kellen? You hanging with us tonight? It's going to be a short one, by the way. Jackie has to leave early for a callback. That you just found out about. Yes, good items. So you're also going to want, um, yeah, embers are the new humanities. Okay. And what an ember does is it also boosts your total HP, makes cool. your HP bar longer when you when you ember up. Um, I don't think the kindling mechanic isn't isn't the same. What you want actually now is you see you have three Estus flasks. Yeah. You need to find these Estus shards to get more flasks. Okay. So you start at three, and then you just slowly build up to, I think you can get up to 15, and then it's just total, and you're yeah. not, like, kindling and doing all that at bonfires. Um, so you definitely, like, the thing you really want to look for is... Uh, yeah, this guy. <laughs> this guy is no joke. Yeah, this guy will fuck you up. He also has a very good sword. If you can kill him, if you manage to kill him, he's got a fantastic weapon called the Uchi Katana. A weapon that you did not get in Dark Souls, but you could have gotten by killing the shopkeeper. I mean, by killing the blacksmith. You gotta hit him once. I'll say that. One hit is good. Nice. It's nice. That's the R2. Yeah. That's pretty good. And yeah, and, and um, you know, let's get into rolling now. You're a fast boy again. Ooh. Didn't go well. Didn't go well for you <laughs> then. Yo, what's up, Cammy? Cammy cans. I 100% cheese this fuck. Yeah, you totally can. I think you can just kind of like throw shit at him and stuff. Oh, we should probably get your bonfire going in the other area, too. Swarm. You can knock him off the cliff, right? Yeah, so... I think you can put it in. Go around to the left. Turn you to like the thing. The weapon? Embed the coiled sword. Yo, what's up, Jay Stunna? How you doing? All right. There's your now sit at that bonfire so you don't if you do die again you won't. There you go. Go to burn on dead bone shard. You don't have one. So that is gonna be essentially your firekeeper soul. Gotcha. If you get a bone shard, you're like very excited because your MS is gonna be stronger. Bone shard! Bone shard is ready! Um so that's always good. Yeah, this guy, uh, JT Dubs, does, does, you can knock him off the cliff. I think maybe with a kick or something. This guy. This guy's hard. This guy might be something you might want to come back to later. Um, let's see if you can do, do it here. But he's he's very difficult. So, But it would be cool because then you'd get the Uchi Katana, which would probably be a better like weapon for where you're at. Yeah, that poke is good. He's tough. 
I feel like all the cool weapons in this game are dex. Any good recommendations for a strength faith build? Yes. The butcher's knife that you get from killing the lady in the crow forest area um, with the big birds that you, you can fight her. She's the same lady you encounter in Dark Souls 1. What's her name? It's like, it's not Hagrid. I always think it's Hagrid, but it's not. Yeah, this does oh, this. Course. It's a weird thing that it does, and it's annoying, and I forget why it does this, and I think it'll go away eventually, but are you going to try to kill him again? Just go. Have to, just check him down. Yeah, just go chat with people and stuff. Um, yeah, that's the that is the strength weapon. It's fucking am, it's an amazing weapon. I took it all the way through my my playthrough that I did with like the DLC and like when I did a new game plus playthrough, and it is just yeah, it's just loading right. That's like a load screen essentially. That that fog door. It's really kind of annoying. Uh, cause it'll just be there and you're just like, okay, I guess I can't go outside right now, which is all I want to do. Um. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah. He's well, back. See, again, it's very much a love letter. Like, Dark Souls 2 doesn't have this stuff, you yeah, know? Sure Dark Souls 2 is very much kind of a, a departure. Humble, sweet, forging weapons. You're in search of the but that of fucking butcher choice. blade is incredibly fast, incredibly powerful. It's got a cool Bloodborne style mechanic for its weapon art. When you sharpen it, you get health back by hitting people, just like in like uh, Dark Souls. Have you, uh, or uh, Bloodborne rather. Have you played or heard of Pillars Eternity 2 Deadfire? I feel like this is the 15th time I brought this up, but you'd like it for sure. I gotta check it out. So go talk to him again. I don't want to see my work squandered. And go to uh, good to what needs. Uh, a lot Estus. Just give all of your Estus to the other way. There you go. Now you have four. Because you don't need you're not doing magic, so you don't need to refill the My blue meter. Okay. Direct, simple, reinfo reinforcement is straightforward. It's infusion is a more advanced form. Reinforcement requires bring the stones. It's my perp in battle. Your weapons are young. Seems like I read that faith and int are kind of janky in this one. Right, like, if you want to level them, you're better off being just pure faith or int. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely know that sorceries kind of blow in this one. I tried to do a mage build in, in this game and just got, just had the worst time. Just got crushed left and right. It definitely is rewards melee, I feel like, this game. Which is how I like to play. Mm-hmm. I think pyromancy's fine. It's good. Pyromancy's kind of like you're really a melee just with this extra little projectile that's not a bow and right. arrow, you know. All right. Uh, let's go to let's go f leave here, go back outside, and I'll show you that little optional guy. Oh, okay. This is a little spot you can check out. I guess I could show you the secret. It's a little cheesy. But here, do a jump. I think you run and then click down on the uh, left uh, analog stick. All right, so there's a thing you can do here where you kind of run up off the tree. Here, let me show you. And try to jump onto there. But you have to kind of like jump kind of off the tree when you're like running up on the side of it. That's more of a roll. You're doing the roll thing again. You got to click down on the L3. The, I, that's what it's happening. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a jump. And that's pretty much what you got to do. You just got to hit it right. Hold don't picture Jared naked. All right, well, we'll not do. Ooh, that was a good one. That was close. Oh, so close. The Ariandel boss gives you a badass scythe that sc scales with int and dex. That's cool. I think that was like right. You just went in the wrong direction. Yeah. Oh, what's happening, Mr. Butts? How you doing, man?
If you want to give up on this, you can, by the way. It just, it will, it will reward you greatly if you can do this. <laughs> this is good though too, you're also getting to practice this. You have to jump and stuff. Uh, the worst boss, low ledge, yes. Mm, I think you need to use the tree a little bit more. Oh, that one should have had it. Wrong angle, go from the front. I think that's really wrong angle. I think that's right. Or yeah, go down there and run like that way. Yeah, like that. Oh, so close. Jared's silence is so salty. <laughs> Never played a Dark Souls game, but I've watched other people play, so I feel like I'm an expert. Oh, oh how is on. that not it? It's a weird thing. You need like a key that you don't get to like way later to access what's up there, mm -hmm. but you can do this little jump um, to get up there, and you get some good shit. You don't have to give up, or you don't have to do this. No, I feel like it's not the Capra Ledge. Close. <laughs> oh, just barely. Just climb up there. Like, come on. <laughs> Uh, it's not Dark Souls. No platforming. Bad, 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 bad. Well, we are cheesing the game right now, to be honest. We're taking advantage of a little, I don't know, I guess it's not a glitch, but like a little environmental kind of situation that allows us to get up on this ledge that you would normally not be able to get up on. Can I try? Yes, you may. All right, thank you. Try to do this right. Nah. That's not it. said what aren't straight sword sunlight straight sword are both oh, how did that not straight do? and fifth scale ah. well, says I think you're lost in your stalgians <laughs> unicorns for all how come we've not played in dark souls Fair place in Williamsburg, in Williamsburg. Williamsburg. What do you got, Jared? Um, I've really been digging in Concord Hill lately. Oh, there's a new spot. Pheasant. 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 Awesome. Yeah. I like Brooklyn Star. Brooklyn Star is really good. Um, uh, Blue Collar Burger Good Job is a great fast mm -hmm. food burger. Very good, very good burger. I'm trying to think what else. There's so many. Oh, um. Hey. Woo! All right, look around a little bit. You got three homeward bones to start. Be very careful. Do not fall off the fucking ledge, though. I swear to God, I'll murder you. All right, because I'm not this doing that again. Like no, you can. Wait, wait. Before, just make sure you got. You can drop down there. Yeah, drop down back there. That's fine. Just don't fall off, off. Um. What am I thinking of? The fried chicken place. Sweet chick. No. Um. It's like something and something. Pies and thighs. Pies and thighs. So good. Pies and thighs is always Pies and thighs is insanely good. Fried chicken spot. What? <laughs> um, so that's like the bird's nest in that other game where you could drop stuff. And get items back. I even remember that. So grab. Aha! An Estus shard. shard. That's one of the most important things. Here for June for an internship. Fantastic. Um, there's more though. In here. Yeah. It's a hidden wall. On one of these. Yeah, like one of these at the end of one of these. I think it's to, the, to your left or right now. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that one. Hit that wall. 
Is it another wall, or do you just drop down there? Maybe you just... Mm, don't do that. Hit the wall here. Where is it from here, guys? There's, like, another wall or something. No, no, there's a treasure there. I think you just drop down to your left. Yeah, open that up. I hate those birds. Covetous Silver Servant Ring. Check out that ring. Also, by the way, one of the things I love about this game. Um, no, that's items. To get out of this. Go one to the left. Yeah, there. Okay. Four ring slots. Nice. Fallen foes yield more souls. Beautiful. Very good ring to have. Very good ring to have. Check behind that for a wall. Because it's Dark Souls. Yeah. No. thought there was maybe one more wall, but... I guess I'm wrong, but check on all these. Is there a lot of instant death in Dark Souls? Um, not like instant death. Nah, I think you're good. Yeah, I think you just want to get that ring. Oh, what? No, you're fine. Um, okay, no, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> you're completely fine. Okay, uh, let's go check this optional guy out. Go... Just try to leave again where it was like a fog door before. What's that? I think it's up those stairs. I keep screeching at you, but you won't come to me. Why? Pum -parum. Uh, there's a lot of like gravity death in Dark Souls, like falling off cliff sides and stuff like that. Uh, I think if you're if you're in an area you shouldn't be in, you'll definitely instantly die, and it just depends. Yeah, I guess there is a lot of instant death in certain ways. You know? Let's skip that. Go uh, up there. Wait, go to the left over there? I thought there was, maybe it's later. There's an, uh, yeah, okay. Just trying to make sure you get all the good items and stuff. Text really quick. It's fine. Just look around, trying to figure out. Mhm. Mm Dark Souls 2 had some instant death bullshit, like police just shooting you um, through a wall that you can't see. But that's out of character for this series. One of the things that sets Dark Souls 2 apart, better or worse. Yeah, that's that's the thing that happens in Dark Souls as well. Okay, I'm 100 percent back. Let's go. You also have some fading souls, some little things that'll give you souls. Um, and we're gonna go. Oh yeah, try to do this jump over here to get that item. Did you do that yet? See, you gotta jump to it from that cliff cliff ledge. Here? No, from is that rock right there? Yeah, that's oh, probably. It's uh, click down on yeah, L3. Got it completely backwards. <laughs> Do you guys feel like Dark Souls 2 tried to double down on the difficulty and severity of the game, first game by amping it up even further? Um, not really, because it's easy in a lot of ways. I feel like I steamroll through a lot of parts of Dark Souls 3, or Dark Souls 2, rather. Uh, I think I think it, the, the, the main thing for me with Dark Souls 2 is it suffers from having too many bosses that are not super memorable. Uh, and so it kind of just, it's almost like if they had scaled back on how many bosses they threw at you and made them more interesting, 
Uh, it's about the same. There's some more bullshitty parts early on where you get totally overwhelmed and they don't give you a chance. Yeah, a little bit with that. Um, and you know, it, it's I don't know. I feel like it's a lot of like a lot of these games very good. Nice, that's Titanite very Shard. good. So you get to upgrade that weapon. Um, get that item off of that guy in the ground there. And let's head to our little other guy. But I'm glad you cleared this out. That's good. Where is the other guy? Uh, back up the... Uh, no, not there. Back up there, yeah. Go back to that first bonfire. Sit at it. And then go back into that opening, like, tutorial area. And uh, turn around. To the right. Yeah. I love how, like, crooked and warped all the shit is in this place, too. A lot of, definitely a lot of Bloodborne vibes, too, with the tombstones. Yeah, the tombstones, I was thinking. Uh, what's cool about Dark Souls 2 is it has a very complex and interesting player uh, spec scenario. Like, you can play a lot of different builds. It has a very cool system for that, and that's why people champion it. So there are people out there that would prefer to. Did you sit at the bonfire back there? Yeah. Okay, good. So turn around, no, to the right, and go yeah, through here. Yeah. So there's a little river that leads back. I always love Dark Souls 2, even if it's flawed or whatever. I've played through Dark Souls 2 several times. I'm definitely a fan of Dark Souls 2. It's one of those. It's, it's one of those where, like, it was kind of like the Star Wars ranking. Mm -hmm. It seems like I like a movie not as, like, not much because it's number six. Right. But it's just I love all of them so much yeah. that it's number six. So Dark Souls 2 is number four on the list just because the other ones are so great. Definitely target this fucker. He ain't gonna be easy. He might arguably harder than the boss you just fought. He's cool, right? I love him. He's fucking rad, dude. I love these crystal. You'll see these guys throughout the game yielding some very good results, some good um, weapon upgrade uh, items and shit, the, cr the crystal stuff. Nice. Doing pretty good. Keeping that stam up. Soon, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and by the way, another thing about Dark Souls 2, the fucking heal is so slow, it makes you want to die. Like it is the slowest, shittiest fucking heal. And I think you get items that'll make it faster and stuff throughout, but it's still even when you do that, it is so much slower compared to this game. And and the fastest is Bloodborne. You know, it's like that. Yeah. Ah. I'm also harder than those boss fights. Nice. And you got a tight night scale and some a lot of souls. So let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's head back to the... Oh, yeah. There's an item there. Some shit in there. Yeah. Uh, we'll head back to the, the hub. Upgrade. Mm -hmm. And then move into the... Start playing the game. Start playing the game. Yeah, essentially. Great start. This also feels like you start a little stronger. I mean, I don't know if it's just coming from having just played the first yeah, one. Yeah, you've definitely so, like, just played the first one, uh, so. But yeah, I mean, definitely you don't start with like nothing. Right. Essentially is how the first one starts, and you kind of slowly get weapons and stuff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, wrong way. Yeah, it's this way. Oh, I see. And we're just heading back into Firelink. Yeah, you could go level up and maybe even kill Mr. Uchi, Uchi Buchi, Brody Nuchis if, if you I want. Level up, I'll try. I think I'll get a few. Yeah, I'm wondering what to do for you because part of me wants to just do the strength thing again and make and just make you Mr. Butcher Knife like I was, which was like. The, when I found that weapon, I just went fucking bananas. There's another really good dex weapon we could do, so I would just maybe spec for both and do it that way.
These guys are back alive. Oh, yeah, you sat at that bonfire. That's right. Alright. I think you're good. You don't have to kill these guys. I love the noises in this game. Like, you I was intimidated by Souls being so difficult, but I played Dark Souls 2 Mage build, and yeah, it was pretty difficult in the beginning, but you learn the rules, and when you find it, your feet, it's so fucking rewarding. Absolutely. And I would say, it, now that you've played through it, mm -hmm. the, the, it being just hard for hard's sake and all that kind of stuff is bullshit, right? I mean, it, there's, it really, there, you, you one-shotted, like, several sections of the game, you know? Yeah, it's absolutely, like, a playable game. Yeah, you it's... You have to know the rules, and it's so different than... A lot, yeah. So many other... So many, and, and less like, forgiving. You know, and less forgiving yes. than a lot of stuff. Um, but once you kind of learn how to handle it and go through it... And once you get to the part where, like... If, as long as you're, like, upgrading your shit properly and, like, right. build... You know, you can uh, pick up the item. Your item blind. Um... Yeah, once you once you just kind of get the lay of the land and you know, you know, and you do have me here being like, you need to go that like if you right. weren't picking up certain things and getting certain upgrades like those, uh, wrong way, go up the hill behind you, yeah that way. Yeah, and that's why it's enjoyable for me, because I just like when I sit down to play video games for fun at home, I get frustrated if I'm like spinning wheels for hours. So the difference is the difference um, is I think with these games especially. Unless you're like some ridiculous purist, mm -hmm. you have a guide open. Right. You're sitting next to it. You're making sure you're not missing any super important stuff. Yeah. And at the same time, I feel like I played Dark Souls three without reading a bunch of stuff. I think I'd only read stuff if I was having a hard time with a boss and I just needed any little help I could get. Of like, what's it weak to? Should you know? Should I use fire paper on my sword or something like that? Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah, maybe endurance. Uh, health, like all, all the basics at this point. I'm going sure. strength, health, endurance. Sure. Um. Those are good choices. Yo, with the 50 people watching, what's Hello. happening, everybody? We're going till about 5.30, and then we're going to take a little break, and then we'll be back with Jackanese Dating Sims. It's going to be a shorter episode. I apologize for that. Jackie just found out last minute she has a callback she could not get out of, so we're going to go for about like an hour and a half unfortunately but um again it's gonna be a blast it's gonna be a party and next week i will be in la it'll be a saturday stream and we were gonna go so fucking hard you guys have no idea it's gonna be an in-person jackie and i in the same room but i guess i played a lot of assassin's creed and that's sort of similar to watch true oh i have watched hours upon hours of this game on this channel but i still don't get the appeal to these games i don't know can i come maybe LA is a short John. Oh, true? Oh, maybe we'll talk. Why don't you just come visit? Come see the play. He's tough. Oh, you gotta heal. So yeah, you can push the push him off the ledge with like a kick. Because I'm lazy. Ah, I see. And of course, backstabbing is a thing in this game. Nice good hits. I love having these enemies like the Crystal Lizard that, you know, totally optional. Mm -hmm. But if you want to give yourself a cool little challenge right up top, like you can go, you know, spend like an hour fighting this guy, you know? Or you can totally just come back later. Remember, your R1's pretty fast. Not that fast, though, I guess. Never mind. Shit. One S is left. Gonna have to start getting a little aggressive. So what's nice is you can at least like kinda stun him yeah. and get more than just one hit in for sure. Alright, zero Estus. Oh you didn't use your Estus shard. Can you get him off? Oh, so close. Oh, that would have been awesome. He's still pretty low. If not, you can get your use your Estus shard. Finally able to catch your friend Friday. Fuck yeah, Peppa. Nice. Oh, you're out of stam. Careful. I'll get him. 
Oh. We gotta get you more uh, roly poly soon, too. I know, well, I, just, I broke myself of that habit so hard. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Oh, <laughs> well, use your Estus chart, too. Yeah. You so would have had more. one you, uh, one more heal. That would have been helpful. Yeah. So go to um our your blacksmith. Oh, also sit down in yeah. the Firelink Shrine. It's a, you got to play it kind of thing. Yeah, I used to watch like run-throughs of Dark Souls out of a mor morbid curiosity when I heard how difficult the game was, mm -hmm. thinking it was a game I would never play. Right. And I'd watch it and I'd just be like, okay, this looks really kind of janky and weird. Mm -hmm. You know, it just looks like, I don't know what this is. And it wasn't until I played it that I got really into the games. Very well. You don't have any level up. You just need to go talk to Andre, the blacksmith. Uh, okay. Farewell, Ashen One. That too. No, 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 you got it, yeah. Yeah, you know what to do. And then sit back down. Sure. Because he'll, because then you'll have the five, I think. I switch to your other Estus flask too. How's one do that? Hit down, the down button. Or you just, I don't know why you switched to it. You also got rid of your sword. Well, is good, wasn't he? Uh, reinforce Estus Flask. Yes. All right. Okay, now it's okay, at least two. Careful. You've got the ba you've got five. That's yeah, like the no. bare minimum, right? <laughs> You're at Irithil, the Boreal Valley, right now. Hell yeah, Falseries. What's up, Falseries? Also, hello. She's a shop sales salesperson, shopkeeper. So you can get some really important stuff from her. Um, and you keep you'll keep getting items and giving them to her, and her shop will have more items in them. Right now, I don't think you really need much from her, but she's got some weapons, some different stuff you can check out. I think that weapon's fine for you for now. Also, once you get this Uchi, you might be switching to that. Holden, you were hilarious. Debate seven, man. Fell a little like round table. Thank you. I know there was a minute there where Roundtable was just like me, Marcus, and Jackie at times. And it, yeah, it kind of had that vibe a little bit. Uh, wrong, way. wrong way. But the door is now fucked up. I don't think so. It looked right. No, it is. Currently doing my first playthrough of Dark Souls. Hell yeah, Nano Kitten. Sorry, this is Dark Souls 3, by the way. I didn't change the name of the game. Um, apologies for that. Holden, that was it about the what was it about the animated hobbit that got you all squirrely i think i was just fucking fucking around man it didn't get me all squirrely i was just making a joke <laughs> i could try to make up something about how i got turned on by it but yeah a lot of jerk off talk <laughs> sure well, that would have been a good backstab That's the way, just four hits, back up. Get that stand back up. Oh, he parried. Wow, wow. Oh. Nice, good heal. Yeah, it's like having the heavyweights on and now you, you're fast heal, you can like time it so much better. You can edge him towards the ledge, yes, indeed. Jared wants to fight him on his own ground with zero cheese. So maybe don't do that R2 ever. You know what I mean? Yeah, fuck that too. So he'll just do that. Ah, there you go. You can get him over. Nice. Nice. That was five. That's why it's good to be a pyromancer. Yeah, you can totally cheese him with fireballs. One more. You got this. Oh shit! Oh, oh! Just get out of there! Wow, dude. Oh, getting greedy. Jared, you're crazy. Good work, buddy. Oh, you oh. fucking oh, so fucking.
fucking dead. <laughs> Uchi Katana, check out the specs on that thing. I think that might be your weapon for now. Depending if you can even wield it or not. You cannot. What do I need? Uh, 16 dex. 16 dexterity. So you're, oh, I think you're at 15. So actually, you could probably go level up to 16 and wield it. You can go do that right now. Is that an item back there? Right, look up. Oh. <laughs> nice. Check out that shield, too. Oh! What is this? <laughs> yeah, we went with night build. Very well. Then take I love Jared, Jared's dedication. I got murked by this guy once and went, oh, fuck it, I'll just come back. Yeah, actually, you were asking for a good dexterity weapon, Tommy. This might be your weapon here. Go get a Uchi. Uchi Buchi, Brody Nuchis. This is aggravating. Yeah, it should change soon, though. One with Dexterity Knight? Yeah. I think that's a good way to go. And soon we'll be, we'll, uh, we'll get this Uchi. Or we'll actually, want, while you're just hanging out here. No, I guess you need the souls, huh? All right, it's clear. Um, we'll get this, uh, these souls. We'll go level up so you can wield your Uchi Katana. And, um, and we'll go into the next area. And start it, and then stop the stream. And we'll be in a great place to pick get going, up. yeah, yep. to pick it up. Really good, this is like the perfect way for this to go down. Beating the first one, and then kind of perfectly setting yourself up to just dive in next week to the next one. Yeah, dex to... Oh, it's 13. Can you get it up to 16? No. No, but go ahead and do dex, and um, we'll get there. I think that's what I want instead of vitality, is what I was putting something into. Oh, yeah, don't do vitality. I think that's, like, defense. Yeah, I want... A yeah, I want dex, strength, and... Endurance and vigor. Yeah. All right, cool. And now eat some souls and see if you can get it up to 16. Farewell, also, go into your equipment and remove the Ashen Essence Slides. This is driving me crazy. You keep switching to it accidentally. Uh, all right, cool. Now you can just eat these multiples at a time. So you don't have to do all this. Uh, exit to go into your items. Yeah. And then hit click on it. And then use selected. And then go to four. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you just do that. Hey, Alden, since you are the resident Dark Souls expert, if I should want to play through part one, is there an outfit that would match Rapier Parry Dagger? Um, I'm thinking along the lines of three musketeers here. Oh, fuck. I don't even know. I mean... Yeah, there is. I think in the woods you can find a hunter there that would give you what you're looking for. A very princess bride look, I think is what you're going for. I love the decision to, uh, in Dark Souls 3 to keep a bunch of ring slots. Me too. I mean, rings are so much fun to get. Oh, you'll have it so quickly, though. And now go to him and go to Andre and level up your um, dagger or your uh, Uchi so that it's all ready to go. So that when you do have enough souls to level up to uh, 16 decks, you'll be like, you'll have a fucking prime ah, Uchi. Well, just good. What needs? Reinforce. Can you do it? No, what do you need? You need two shards. You can go buy a shard, probably. Pretty can you buy shit from him? From him? Probably. Ah, well, just good. What needs? No, you can't. You have to buy him for somebody else or something. Okay, fuck it then. All right, so now sit down at the bonfire. It's a little different, so you don't just. Tr it's more a bit of a bit more menu traveling. Yeah. So go to travel, and high wall of Lothric, and this will begin your 
descent into madness. Oh, there's so many great enemies in this game. So many cool boss fights. And you've already beaten the first one. The next boss fight's a bit crazier. There's a giant tree Ooh. as well. There's really fun boss fights in this game. All right. Just the next like five minutes, we'll be out of here real soon. Uh, also in Sin's Fortress. I don't know if you get the stuff. Abyss Watchers are fun and infuriating. Absolutely. I love the Abyss Watchers. You just beat his beanbag till he taps out. Exactly. I have a hard time against the tree. Myself. He's a bit of a fucker. And there's your bonfire. And welcome to Lothric. What ending are we going for? Good question. I don't know, we'll see. We'll try to do the extra stuff and get like the eyes and all that stuff. There are multiple different endings in this game. Depending on... Is it more varied than like light or darkness? Like in Yeah, light? yeah, it's different and you have to do in-game things to get them. Sit down at that bonfire before you move forward. So that you return here and not fire link. Uh, but yeah, I think we pretty much gotta call it. I guess just go into this first little area to just out because you're probably yeah. curious. But yeah, we gotta call it here. Where is it this down? is a good way to call it, place to call it too. Yeah, there's two different places you can go down. This is one of them. They're worshiping a tree thing. Mm-hmm. They're not down here. How many did you need to get that Dex up one? And Dark Souls. Dark Souls. All right, man. You got a real, a lot of crazy shit oh, there's so much more. ahead of you. Beat the Dark Souls. You just beat the Dark Souls. Now there's so Souls. much more Dark Souls. The DLC in this oh. in this game is incredible. Is absolutely incredible. Okay. Right. Yeah. Just go to uh, quick game. Yeah. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Thank you so much, everyone. This has been a blast. We beat Dark Souls. Thank you for the donations, guys. I'll give Jared his $15. I am so powerful. He is very powerful. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys very soon for Japanese dating sims coming at you like a shot in the night. So enjoy that. We'll be right back. Uh, until then, just collect yourself. Get ready. And thank you again, everybody, for joining today. Um, we'll play us out with the little cowman. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Like Bravo 419, we got a 1088 vehicle heading south on Highway 65. A white Dotson pickup. Subject is armed white male, no shirt, blue jeans. Requesting backup. Suspect is on the run. Repeat, the suspect is on the run.